But for the Broncos and the Bulldogs, a match they can go in with a real sense of opportunity. Games like this might be few and far between. So They head out, led by their captain, Josh Jackson. So 0-2 as well. Those losses against clubs who, who played in last year's finals and injuries and suspension not helping their cause. And we're on our way. It's the Broncos and the Bulldogs. And it's Dylan Napa, a peculiar start to his season. 16 minutes in the first game, 24 minutes last week, and finally he's back in the starting team. Hetherington, he's worn that number 10 jersey. Now Brody Croft takes them on and finds Turpin. Here's Milford with the swivel. And Pangai backs back. Now Herbie Farnworth in and away from Hopperwadi. Then he beats him again. He's got no one to give it to as he gets inside the 20. So he comes up a oh, oh, beautiful ball. pass. Adam Elliott into the backfield. Oh, no. The pass to Flanagan. Oh, no. He's put it down. And Cummins said it was fine. It wasn't forward. And oh, Kyle Flanagan. He can't reel it in. Canterbury, it would have been their first try in a fortnight. He's finding and sprinting to that left side. Just a go. And it's going to be six more. Jordan Ricky slightly unlucky there, but the dogs with oh. Ogden start well, this set it. inside the 20. Go one. There it turns. There's the offload. Marshall King, he's got a chance. Marshall King, well, he got there, but he's short and he's held up, and we're going upstairs. Let's check it all. Ricky, he gets his arms around the ball. Pengai and Asako involved also. And he's not getting that one down. He comes close. Okay, held up. He's held up. Pengai to Milford. Now Izarko. Here's Farnworth again. He turns Hopperwadi inside out. Croft looming. Croft gets it. Marshall King there first. So nice was Hopperwadi. One play left. I need to go left quick here. Oh, Izarko no. tries to do it on his own. Canterbury time to retreat, but Croft hey. now sizes it up. The dribbler. Flat and Nini. Oh. Almost. He's out, he's out. Oh, no. He did get yeah. out. And with a Tony. Here we go. Here's Milford's kick. No one wants it. Now the bounce. It came off Kotrick, it seemed. And it's going to be Brisbane ball. And again, it's off the back of Milford's kick. He's had some success so far. And that one inside the left upright and we finally have points Brisbane 2 Canterbury nil. his fifth hit up of the night Milford now Izarko straight through the middle this is real trouble in away oh he's broken the ankles of Corey Allen that's an NBA move and it's Jermaine Izarko that breaks the game open with a sensational move and it took 58 and a half minutes, but finally we have our, our first try. Yeah, really good work here from Masako. He just gets to that left-hand side and just burns the defence of the Bulldogs with pure speed. Out the back, simple play. Waddell can't get there. He's too fast. He goes left, he goes right. See you later, Corey Allen. And the Broncos have scored their first try, or the first try of the afternoon with an opportunity to go to an eight-point lead. And this is just taking it on, playing what you see in front of you, showing great speed. And this footwork is electric. Watch the left foot. Now watch the right foot. Oh, that's nice. Told you we'd see something very, very special. Well, that's a lovely moment for Jermaine Izarko and for our older audience breaking ankles. That's an NBA, that's a younger person's NBA term. So, uh, Corey's okay. He should gobble it up. Broncos, eight, Canterbury, nothing, as we enter the remaining 20 minutes of this clash. So the number nines and their forwards, they quick play the balls. You win the ruck, you win the game. Here we go again. 
And now it's Ozarko. Yeah, and he gets it on the coach. Oh, we haven't seen much of him. Well, we've seen him now. Xavier gets over. It's almost customary. It's almost routine that the Broncos winger gets over the line. Yeah, it's been a tough couple of years for the Broncos. In a, a tough couple of weeks. Kevin Walters in charge, Brody Croft throws the pass out the back and this will just be, it's like a sigh of relief, a bit of pressure off the back with Asako just bursting through, he's come up with two massive plays in this second half, two line breaks, looks great in open space, last time he took Corey Allen on, this time he just sums it up, and throws a beautiful pass on the outside to Xavier Coates, a superstar, or a future superstar at origin level also. And look how excited they are, they're pumped. And again, on the right side, so plenty of experience from out here. Ooh. The first and call, oh, too much. So 12 up with 12 to play. And Luis Dylan Napa will try. Oh, Pengai, it's gone backwards. And Newford on the phone were so good in the first half. And then Papawadi just hanging on for the ride. That'll get Herbie to, to a couple of hundred metres. Milford, oh, the conservative kick. This is a good one. as routine as it gets, and Corey Allen has no chance. Magnificently weighted by Anthony Milford. It's a great chase from Xavier Coates. So not even the short drop out for, for, for the Bulldogs to try and get the ball back. Pangai full of running. And away there from Waddell. It's Flegler down the middle. Is your sense they've got more in the, the Broncos at the moment? Oh, well, not here. Although that's a penalty. It's a penalty, two on one strip. Now they can challenge this. They called hell here. Oh, walk away from last week. Yep. Oh, they let that one go. They could have been two and zero oh, as Ozarko makes it fourteen to nil. Not half a real contender. Hello, Xavier Coates. This could be something. He's There's away. No one in front of him. It's Coates. It's Hetherington. Goodbye. Xavier Coates has a double. You can't keep him out of the game. Now they're pouring it on the Broncos. It's like nine months of misery is being released all in this second half. Yeah, it's been a dominant second half, and Xavier Coates rises above them all. What a player he is, an excitement machine. This winger, this young winger from the Broncos, gets in open space and has shut the gate. He's away, you're not catching Xavier Coates from there. But when the ball's in the air, there aren't many better players, wingers in the competition, in the world, that can jump higher than this man. You know a guy's fast when he can run away from the opposition while looking at himself on the big screen. So he's up there, he's only, what, two behind Brett Morris. Oh, Zarko. Right are off, but it's not going to matter. Psychological thing, a bit of a, a point by the team to keep Bulldogs to zero at the moment. They're doing a good job. And David Mead, they're all in the way from Hopalani. Back to Farnworth, he deserves one. Now the stab kick, he is dead and he's got to try. He's first in on the scoreboard and look at the celebrations oh it stacks on and Tom Dearden he only gets seven minutes of this game he's going to make them count it's been a great second half they look like a different team a bit of confidence bouncing around and watch the quick slick hands out the left hand side Milford out the back to Asako beautiful hands there from Glenn on the mead who comes through and Farmworth who's had a big game he was great in the first half He's only got better, puts in a beautiful kick for Did. And the young little half comes onto the field and he gets a try straight away. Good work. Meat just gets on the inside shoulder. It was 2 0 at half time, remember. But they have turned it on. Farmer's been really good. He's been really good. When you're part of a team that can't defend or part of a team that can't score. to 58 minutes. Milford. Turpin to Deirdre. Ricky. 
Allen oh, hanging on. on. Might be the final play of the night. Tessie knew. Oh, he almost got that back too. And spare a thought for Ben Cummins. The pain is almost over. He can rest that voice up. Well done, Ben. But well done to Kevin Walters and the Brisbane Broncos. It's been so, so long. And that man, success in origin, and now he has a victory in the NRL. The Broncos, they're on their way. Full-time at Suncorp, Brisbane 24, Canterbury nil.